A caregiver at a Mesa facility is arrested and accused of raping an 85-year-old woman with dementia in an active shooter incident at a Texas facility creates a call for added security and training for all providers. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 26th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A man who worked in an adult care facility in Mesa, Arizona, allegedly sexually abused one of the patients, an 85-year-old woman with dementia, and it might not be the first time. Police arrested Manuel Coral at 58 over the weekend after the victim told the staff that he had assaulted her. According to police, the victim told her son and then detectives that Coral went into her room while she was sleeping and sexually assaulted her in several ways, including raping her. Court documents say that a medical exam revealed injuries consistent with what she told investigators. Police said Coral also matches the woman's description of her attacker, a Hispanic man about 6 feet 1 inch tall and weighing about 200 pounds. Coral is the only man assigned to the woman's unit. He is reportedly the overnight caregiver. This is not the first time Coral has faced accusations of abusing a patient. According to public court documents, he was a suspect in incidents, one of them sexual in nature, at three other facilities where he worked as an overnight caregiver. The arresting officer noted the allegations in the probable cause for arrest statement. The earliest case was in 2012 when a woman said Coral forced her to perform oral sex on him. In 2014, there were allegations of physical abuse by two male patients. Detectives said after he was read his Miranda rights, Coral admitted going into the woman's room and having sex with her. He was arrested on suspicion of sexual assault, kidnapping, and sexual abuse, all of which are felonies. While the probable cause for arrest statement mentions previous allegations against Coral, his court documents do not list any prior arrests. A judge set a secured appearance bond of $75,000. Should Coral post that, he will have to wear an ankle monitor and consent to supervision. A common belief many people have is that an active shooter situation will never happen to them. But after a Texas senior living facility was faced with a similar scare two Saturdays ago in a shooting, an emergency preparedness expert is calling on all providers to implement multiple security measures and personalized training so that they can be ready just in case anything similar happens to them. Quote, preparedness and training are very important, said Vernon Jeffries, chief strategist with Readiness Associates, which offers emergency preparedness, business continuity, and disaster risk reduction services to long-term care facilities and other healthcare organizations. When looking at the ecosystem of a long-term care facility, an act of violence can come from many places, residents, staff members, guests, vendors, and contractors, Jeffrey explained, adding that the likelihood of a totally random shooting happening at a facility is in fact rare. He stressed the importance of providers having checkpoints at every entry in each building and suggested they incorporate a color-coded guest system that only allows certain people in specific areas. Additionally, facilities should have personalized policies and procedures on emergency preparedness on potential active shooter situations. Those policies should be reviewed by new and longtime staff members every few months. Training simulations and emergency preparedness exercises should be reviewed by a facilities board and regularly executed. Jeffrey added that providers should use all hazards approach when preparing for emergency situations. The approach encourages providers to have a strong infrastructure in place for, for staff members for any type of incident that may occur. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.